Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I know, don't panic, I'm not back on my phone. Um, my camera is really heavy for the tripod, so I don't want my £400 camera on the tripod, you know, because it will break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just filming this out of the blue, as you can see. Facebook. Hi Facebook, how you doing? <laughs> Nah, not, I'm not blaming Facebook for this. I'm blaming the people that are making such a big deal out of something that I posted earlier. And I think Animal Rebellion will respect what I'm about to say. When I was raised with meat, okay? I've been vegan for a year now. I was raised with meat. And now I realise how messed up it was because I was taken to animals... A little farms, petting zoos, and yeah, well, yeah. That night, I ended up going home eating chicken. I, I didn't. Now it makes it makes me yick now. So I'm pulled up at a pub, and there's like a load of drunk people coming out. Hilarious. Okay, so I basically put out this news article that was on Facebook about parents are enraged because from January. This little school is changing their food um, food menu, which, oh my God, that's a terrible thing. I'll tell you what, right, and it made me think and made me rage about the things that were changed in my school, and especially my high school. Oh, the parents weren't enraged about that, were they? But when they changed the menu to vegan, they could just say healthier, then the parents would be like, okay, oh, great. But when it's vegan... There's hell to pay. So, I shared this and it said that the parents are absolutely angered because they weren't consulted by the teachers, okay? So, for example, which, this is where it ticked me off. For example, when I was in high school, this was an experiment, which, again, the school, it's on the news article, they're clearly making an experiment to see if they give the kids healthier food to see if they do well with their with their work or not if they don't like it when it's tried they just change it back but this affected my life seriously so when i was at high school this was an experiment we were put into color groups for our iq or our height or something and according to what color we were put in we couldn't choose certain subjects so i couldn't choose things like art I couldn't choose things. The only thing I could pick out what I wanted to do was drama. And it just, that really affected me so much. But no, that didn't upset the parents at all. That did not upset the parents at all. But oh my God, when you have a little one and you know, you guys had school dinners before. You know the crap you have. So when they change it into a healthier substance because it's branded vegan probably there's hell to pay hell to pay right and i don't get it I, I don't understand this what is wrong with it oh all they have to do is change it if they don't like it okay so this article really angered me because like you know i'm like 29 now so most people like from my school or in my um spectrum of people that are not they don't want to know me but i know them anyway <sighs> they have their kids right they take their kids to petting zoos little country farms community farms right they get them to go oh i love the sheep love the lambs love the pigs but they don't say the point of buying away you're having it for dinner tonight <laughs> that's when i find that really messed up and actually, luckily, one of my little cousins, she figured out where meat comes from. And it did upset her. And she really does care. Like, she cares. I know full well she's going to love animals the same as me. And she's going to know why we're protesting. Why we're really worried about what's going on right now. And I'm not going to go on about it. Because I don't like to explain the scientific part of it all. Why, uh, But really, truthfully, I just went vegan because I got so upset about the animals. And animals are seriously have changed my life so dramatically. If animals weren't around me, I probably would have taken my own life. 
at the age of 18. So <laughs> that's another story. That's another video. But it did come to that point, and an animal saved my life. So I owe, I owe them the world. I owe them every, I owe them everything. And I think it's gross and icky that you take your kids to these little farms, you make them sing old McDonald's, you make them repeat animal noises, but you don't tell them about where your their dinner's coming from. What do you mean? Don't teach your kids to love an animal, but they just serve it to them. Okay? So kids are quite impressionable, right? They're easier to get them into a habit. So if you give them chicken, they'll like chicken for, like throughout their life so this is where it kind of made me like ugh, yick right so things like little changes what are done in schools not a big deal but when this one happens they're just changing their food healthier there's hell to pay right so i'm reading the article and i thought oh my god the parents don't give a crap what goes on in their school. As long as they don't get in a fight, they don't get bullied by the teachers, and at least they learn to count one to five. They do not give a fine monkey bum, okay? So, I share this, and I'm like, it's 2019. The food's healthier, anyway. So what's the big deal? Blah, 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 blah right? So... Because it's vegan, if it was something to do with weight loss or healthier, people wouldn't find it such a big deal. But the fact it's vegan, we're forcing kids. We're forcing them now, are we? It's just so right. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, my lip is quivering. Um, I share this, right? And what annoys me is, is if you don't like a post on Facebook or any social media platform, you swipe up, you just keep going, you ignore it, right? Because there are people that are like me that totally agree with that. That it is good, they should experiment for kids to try and go plant-based. What's the big deal? Okay, so... <sighs> hmm. I don't get it. I, I don't get it, right? And, um... And if you do see posts that are really bad, like very bad, do you think a should something should be done about it? You ignore it, but you report it. That's what you should do. You shouldn't assume and accuse the person for coming out as what you're thinking. Because they're thinking that I said that we should force kids into going plant-based. That wasn't the point. The point was that I was so upset with was the fact especially as children it doesn't hurt to try and give them healthier food because nowadays i know there are mums out there a large majority of them are lazy that's not my business but a lot of mums i know majority of them are so busy they can't go to these supermarkets they can't go to and buy, make them proper food they get they go whatever's fast you know and it does come from really bad places school dinners that their stuff is really bad, like disgustingly bad. Okay, so if the word wasn't vegan, the parents would probably think, "Oh, that might be good for them. Let's give it a go." If he said healthier, the parents wouldn't care. But I think if it was vegan, there's hell to pay, right? So what annoyed me was was these people accuse me. Of saying that we should force children. No. I think we should just tell the parents. Hey. You take your kids to farms. You tell them to sing about animals. Tell them to love animals. But oh you feed them today. Oh you feed them for dinner. I'm having head pains. <laughs> so. I feel sometimes right. So this other person. This particular person right. That was responding to my post, which probably didn't read the full story. Started bashing at me, right? So some of the posts that they put up, they're not very nice. They're really not very nice. But do you know what I do? I swipe up and ignore it. And if anyone posted something that was really seriously negative, like serious, I'd report it. Social media is such a big part of my life because it's my escape. I've had the worst four years of my life, right? 
the YouTube and that. I don't care about the followers I get on Instagram. I don't care about the subscribers I get on my channel. I don't care if I make money on YouTube. I don't care. It's a happy place for me to be. It's somewhere safe for me to go. So, that's how I think it should be. Like, But when it comes to like things like this where I shared something that was I don't think was too bad, that people get heated about because it's vegan, plant-based. This is this is what really irritates me, and um, I just find it messed up when parents say, "Sing our McDonald" or read that book about the chickens, and but then you feed them that stuff for dinner. I don't get it. It's sick. That, that, that's how I see it as, and it like that's the only point I was trying to prove, right? So if it was about anything else they would just move on but because it's vegan and it's changed and like this is what really annoys me like one other poster that okay so i'm an activist right i'm not those activists that glue themselves onto buildings <laughs> i might end up doing that one day <laughs> but you know that's that like i do things to do with social media i go to the marches if i can i go plant-based i try and spread the word because I love animals so much. They changed my life. They saved my life, believe it or not. And it's just... That's for another video. But I just don't get... <laughs> why the parents are so angry about this change. Because when changes were made about like, something to do with me being put into a colour group. I couldn't choose my degree. What I wanted to turn into a career. Oh, that wasn't a problem at all. But when they changed the food to be healthier, at least... And especially for, like, my area, right? My area, all they care about is their kids looking good. That's one of the main priorities. And I, and I, I know as much people will argue it. I've seen it. I've been to schools where kids... I'm not even joking you. I went to little school. Kids had acrylic nails on already. I felt like I had to wear makeup at the age of 10. If I had a daughter, she has face tune or has makeup on before the age of 13. I'm taking it away from her. Anyway, that's off the point. But, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, uh, I just don't understand. Like, when it comes to things that being important, like, we'll put into a group that changed our career, like, our career path. I wanted to really be into art, but I couldn't do it because apparently I wasn't smart enough. Okay. But when they change the food to be healthier, there's hell to pay. I don't get it. My lip is quivering again. <laughs> oh, God. But when I post it online, people find it as a personal attack because it's vegan. And apparently, I hate everyone. I don't hate everyone. I don't appreciate the person that was saying... You're forcing kids. We're not forcing kids. How do you get your kids to eat vegetables anyway? You force them. Don't lie. My mum and dad had hell to pay to make me eat my vegetables. And I was like, well, okay, that's what parents have to do. They have to force their kids into new stuff. Does it really hurt? Just a child. Like, and that's what I don't get. It's just food. It's not like, a, like an educational change or anything like that. It's food. If they find it that bad when it's done, they can just change it back. And that's the part, that's the thing that really wound me up. Like, those, those sort of things really, really wound me up. And then, like, the people that see my post, they don't fully read it. And, like, and see my point of view. That I did have school dinners. They were bad. Really bad. You know, and I think the menu was really similar to what you would have in schools anyway. So what is the deal? And it's healthier for the kids. So what is the big deal? You, uh, yes, I know I'm going to get parents going, oh, because they're not eating meat, that they're, they're going to be unhealthy, and they're going to be, they're going to lose their nutrients, and blah, blah, blah. Do you really think they're going to be getting nutrients now at the school dinners that, like, these schools shove down the kids' throats? This dodgy shit that comes from me from these foreign countries that they don't want anymore. Trust me. I've seen what happens. Chicken nuggets. Uh, but... <laughs> like, ugh, gross. I just, ugh. 
I just can't like <laughs> see I've seen stuff I've seen videos and footage of people going into slaughterhouses and stuff and you see what really goes into stuff that is illegal to be put online put on TV unless it's like a documentary or something but they can't even go that far because the stuff we've seen is so disturbing that like we think oh okay so for example right you know when it comes to um the black race for example right i know it sounds like i'm saying it in a really rude way but i'm angry and i'm i'm not saying it in a bad way i'm just like running out of ways to explain stuff okay so they we did you people did use them as slaves at one point hundreds of years ago they were tortured and stuff but that changed so why can't it change for the animals that's for an example you're eating living stuff and and like and there was one like the other day where i was with my, a mate of mine and i watched i saw a video that i know someone i know well that sent like sent me a bit of footage of a cow milk place and it was really sad it was really upsetting and i teared up and the person that was with me was laughing at me and i thought but what is messed up is you get a cow that's that's a mum think of a mum your mum or any mum and have their calves their babies taken away from them how would you react you as a living thing as well have your babies taken away from you and butchered in front of you so you really think that animals are stupid <sighs> you really think that animals are like think that's okay do you really think they think that's okay? that's okay no it's not okay and i was really upset because if, if even if it was a person i see movies having where mums are having their kids taken away from them it breaks my heart things like that break my heart and they, the person that was next to me thought it was funny like i don't i don't understand why you find it funny but it's still a living thing so i just i don't get it like why i just don't get it like the school were probably experimenting just to see if there's changes but i just i don't i don't get it i do not get it i don't get it but i just want to say as well i want to apologize to people that i shouldn't apologize to if you get offended with my posts if you don't like it just keep swiping up or delete me take me off of facebook if you don't like it don't make some comment that like you don't understand what i'm so outraged about this school article that a parents are angry because they want to make their food healthier okay think of healthier not vegan because it's such a dirty word apparently <sighs> it's healthy for your kids and you know i think it's kind of messed up when you take your kids to petting zoos and stuff and then give it to them for dinner later i just think it's it's incest it's fucked up and um and people are writing to me like i've made a bad point everyone has a point and if someone doesn't like that point you walk away but when it's online and not face to face people comment and make me look like a bad person i'm having head pains again ah <laughs> don't get it but yeah and as well if you don't like someone's stuff just push off push off you know move on push off swipe up for heaven's sake if i wrote something like what people write on my post onto theirs there'd be blood to pay okay oh, i don't get it but i kind of just wanted to rant <laughs> to my vegan people to watch my videos and yeah here we guys i love you i'll see you in the next video be positive online. <laughs> Stop being so... <laughs> Stop bullying vegans! By the way, see you later.